Hello and welcome to a tea trunk video where I make these videos short as possible. Now, I hopped on over to the entertainer today and I was surprised to see that there were new toys on the Guardians of Harmony collection and I just thought <gasps> Oh, there is a new, there are new pony characters at last. New pony characters on the Guardians of Harmony. Wow. Oh, that's great news. Great news. Because it's been a long time coming since I tried to find new characters. Ever since I found Daring Do in... Hamleys in the Trevor Centre, which at the time I couldn't afford to have, which was a downer. So, fillies and gentle colts, may I present the new member of my Guardians of Harmony collection, Shining Armour's sister herself. Princess Twilight Sparkle. And as you can see, she is fighting a changeling. Now, originally, that toy was £15. But today, I saw it slashed down to £6. That's right, £9 have been taken away from the original price. And how could you say no? How could you not say no to that? So, I took it. I bought it, and I'm happy. Very, very happy. But, that's the thing. I was on a dilemma. Because the choices were either that Twilight Sparkle that I've got or should I get Spike versus Queen Chrysalis. Here are the pros and cons about each item. Starting with Queen Chrysalis. Pro, Spike is there to try and fight off. Chrysalis and Queen Chrysalis herself had interesting items to fire at Spike while Spike had the just had the sword. Con my fate at owning bad guys doesn't seem to agree with me. As you may remember I presented to you my Builder Bear Tempest Shadow which interestingly had a high view count but I think that was when my internet war happened or my high bill prices I don't know I mean like electric water mostly electric but I think that's when but I, th but I think that is when my internet war happened when I owned Tempest. And that's why I placed her with Twilight Sparkle next to my Princess of the Night, Princess Luna. Now, here are the pros and cons on, on the Twilight figurine that I've just got. Pro, as you can see, the facial expression of Twilight is exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. She is mean, she is determined, she's saying back off changeling otherwise I'll be forced to fire you with this spear and basically toss you away as you can see there 
And look at that. That is a great picture as well, isn't it? Now here's the con side. Con, as you can see, with this, you can actually see Twilight's teeth. But, if I turn the box over and zoom in, you can see that her teeth are not painted on. So it's like she's got no teeth at all. Oh dear. I mean, I know it's common to uh, forget things when you think you've finished, but to sell off a toy like that and miss, up, miss out an important item of the toy? How is she going to speak? How is she going to express her anger when her teeth are not painted on? Hmm. That's a mystery. Uh, I was going to say something else. I forgot what I was going to say. So, join me later. And you will see Twilight hopefully be hung with the other figurines of the Guardians of Harmony collection. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back. Now, as I said, I will put Twilight next to other members of the Guardians of Harmony. Now, I would, I would have used this. It's one of those um, no nails glue, um, hooks. But because of the weight of this thing, I don't think that blue hook will be strong enough to take its weight. So, I put a nail on the wall. The question is, will she stay on? Truth's crossed, and it's the moment of truth. Will she hang on? Let's find out. Just about. It may be too close to my favourite pony. It's a frame, but who gives a... You know. I don't care. She's hung on the wall with pride. Look at that. S hung proudly next to Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and shining armor. Now, over here, I also got Spitfire. As you can see there, Spitfire. Now, as you can see also, that's bad, I know, but she has no a hanging device on top of the box like Twilight does. So unfortunately she has to stay on this table. She's not going to be out on her box because I don't I don't do that with my collection. I just leave them with pride and uh, more of a display item really. Well, remember when I bought Busy Pop at the UK PonyCon in Leeds in 2016? as an in in the auction and all and also I said I will never ever open her I will leave her in the box well it seems that promise has been fulfilled she's still in her box hung proudly waiting for other G3 ponies to join her oh, I'm trying to get more G3 ponies in their box, but 
in the conventions that I go to, but uh, I just can't find any at the moment. So at the moment she's on her own, but maybe in time she will be accompanied by other G3 ponies in their box, and she'll maybe in, in time have a few talks with them or something. <laughs> well everybody, that's my tea chunk video. And I will end my, this video like I do with all my T-Log videos by saying boo and goodbye.